It's our time to shine Show that's the kind of state of mind You gotta combine with hard work and time You gotta climb to the top Don't let yourself drop till your heart stops Let this beat rock Got a new clock and a new stock for this new rock Just let your mind loose from the new stock Drunk off the goose yeah. Thinking that I'm too pop yeah. Getting caught with a few thoughts Cause I'm too lost But thanks and looking at the explosiveness on the floor tonight, Steve, this game should be filled with highlight reel plays. I love it, Kevin. Fans love watching these matchups, and we do too. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. Again on the wing, he's joined by Brown. The closer is out there with Tatum, and it's smart in at the point. And for the Heat, the wing set for him, Hero and Butler. Martin is out there with Bam Adebayo, and it's Lowry in at the point. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. Hero against Rogdon. Hero kicks the butt. Pass to Autobio. Just four to shoot. Knocked loose. And is out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. Here's Lowry. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Can't let Lowry get comfortable from beyond the arc because he's more than capable of hurting you from there. And the man who many consider the greatest Raptor of all time, Kyle Lowry. He said he plans to return to retire in Toronto someday. He's already had a street named after him there. And in time, probably a statue in his honor as well. Pass to Martin. Butler on the wing. They get it back. It's tipped. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Here's Smart. Rebound by Kyle Lowry. The Heat have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Over Tatum. Lowry can't get it to go. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Here's Tatum. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. That's why you never quit battling on the offensive glass. And that's a nice reward for his effort. Uh, the flush, perfect. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. Miami no good on that time either. For Boston, they've gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. To the paint, stolen by Mark. Works it up for Adebayo, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. You're going to have to foul Bam a lot harder than that if you want to prevent the end one. And last season, Bam Adebayo said it was disrespectful that he wasn't named a finalist for Defensive Player of the Year. What do you think? Well, Kevin, no arguing here. He's definitely an elite defender. Second team all defense, three years running. Great toughness and versatility. And Bam out of bio. Steve, what a force he's become over the years. Yes, Kevin. The impact really started once he became a starter. And you've seen his scoring go to the roof. It's Brogdon on the wing. He's covered by Hero. A primary responsibility of Brogdon's. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to him. And the first time out of the game called for the Heat. And one thing that stands out about this Celtics unit, their defensive abilities. They've got a lot of skill on that end of the floor. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Outside Butler. There's the pass to Martin. Outside Lowry. Over Smart. Solid as a rock from 20 feet away. Lowry's got five. You're right. Defense, it's been terrific for him. This Boston team, GA, certainly has a talent for holding back their opponent's shots and really defending well. And, Kevin, they put a lot of energy into pressuring shooters, making sure guys can't find easy looks. They don't want to give away anything for free. Shots good by Butler. 
Wow, the strength of Jimmy Butler fends off defenders well when he goes up to score. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And, and the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Butler on the wing. Good ball movement here by Miami. To the inside. Lowry. No good on the shot. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Here's the closer. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Here's the closer. And that one is stuffed right through. And doing some dirty work on the offensive glass. And then fouls it up, Greg, with heavy-duty jam on his mind with a terrific putback. Tatum against Martin. Here's Hero. A rebound by the Celtics. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. Lowry passes to Autobahn. Lowry with the ball. Left side, Hero. Over Smart. Gets it to go. That one good from Autobio. Bam is a pro at absorbing contact, especially when he's locked in on scoring. Brogdon kicks to Brown. Tatum looking around. Ball's knocked loose. Down to five on the shot clock. 51 seconds left to play here in the first. Down low. And slam dunk by Butler. Good job of stepping up to the plate there. Seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Smart passes to the closer. And Adebayo sends it back. The reach of Bam Adebayo is off the charts. Using it well with that block. Arif finds Martin. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Duncan Robinson, he's checked in for Caleb Martin. Max Struess comes in for Hero. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Kyle Lowry. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. That sends Jason Tatum to the free throw line. It's on Jimmy Butler. Austin shooting their first foul shot of the night. And take a look back at last season and, and what a season it was for them from the free throw line. 82% as a group. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And the Celtics, guys, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. And you know this, most of the time, offensive rebounds generate high percentage looks. Adebayo is the big man with Butler sliding in at the four. Vincent is out there with Max Cruz. And it's Robinson in at the small forward. So that's who Miami starts the second with. Sometimes you just have to have great timing to get the basketball in those rebounding plays, and Butler did. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Steve Jimmy Butler is definitely a defensive difference maker. He is, Kevin. Back in the 2021 season, Butler led the league in steals. He is so committed to forcing you to make mistakes with the ball. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. For Malcolm Brockton, he comes from a family, Greg, where education comes first. And well, Malcolm earning his degree plus a master's while in college. His dad and brother, lawyers. His mom involved in higher education. Brogdon, maybe the smartest guy in the NBA. Outside, Butler. From outside, off the mark. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. They trail by one. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Smart. 
boy, if you're the coach, you hate to see that kind of miscommunication between your guys. Passes it to Vincent. And Spaz Robinson. Now, here's Adebayo. Tight defense on him. Vincent, the pass to Adebayo. And it's blocked. Pass to Brown. In the corner, smart with it. Back to Brown. That shot, no good. Some solid defense from Robinson. Adebayo passes to Butler. Over Tatum. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Love the level of concentration by Jimmy Butler on that play. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Heat? It's all about pace for me. They have set the tone in that area, and they are playing fast, flying up the floor and putting all kinds of pressure on the defense. And another thing, guys, they've been very active tonight, frequently creating scoring opportunities off turnovers. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. Timeout called the Heat. And Marcus Smart, GA, the very definition of a guy you love on your team <laughs> but hate to play against. <laughs> yeah. And teams that go deep need that sort of presence. Smart is more than just an agitator, though. Great player who anyone would want to play alongside. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Miami's gone over 2 from deep here in the second. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much. Now, Malcolm Brogdon said in pre-draft interviews, teams would ask him, you went to college for four years and got your master's in your fifth year. Are you sure you want to be an NBA player? It seems as if you're black, you can't be both educated and a sportsman. But it's not disheartening. It's a chance for me to break the mold. Kevin? Thanks, D.A. Pass to Struess. Now Robinson. Back to Struess. Oh, it up for Adebayo. Kicks it to Brown. Up top, Tatum. Defended by Butler. Brown inside the line. Again, the Celtics good for two. And you can tell Brown has a mind for the game. Calls the pick and roll and works it to perfection. Screws in the corner. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Poke loose. Here's Vincent, guarded by Smart. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And home court advantage can give teams a huge lift. Greg, how different is it playing in front of the hometown fans? Uh, it's huge. I mean, they give you energy. You, you don't want to let them down. So you tend to dig a little deeper when you're playing at home. First free throw is good. And of course, one of the league's longest tenured coaches, GA, is Eric Spolster. And he's having a Hall of Fame level career. And you look at the ground he broke when he was first hired. Not only young, Spo was the first Asian-American head coach in any of the four major North American sports league and worked his way up from video coordinator. The pass to Lowry. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Lowry's got seven points in the game. That's a grown man's basket right there by Kyle Lowry. He is so good at getting dirty down inside. Smart on the wing. Brown outside. No good with the triple. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. 
Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. Outside Tatum. Smart on the wing. Passes it to the closer. And he slams it down right on top of Dwayne Didman. And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. And the Heat call time here. And Greg, up and down this Celtics roster, so many of their key players were drafted by the Boston Celtics. And Tatum and Brown at the core, but also credit to their front office. Rare to find a powerhouse built from homegrown talent. And Miami making a change here. Heroes check in. He logs up the LU pass, and Deadman throws it down. The long reach of Deadman makes him a good target on the alley -oop. It's Brogdon on the wing. Celtics passing it around. The closer passes to Brock. There's Tatum. Detman with the block. The 7-4 wingspan of Detman. Hard to get your shot over that. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And that is a huge block, given how close this game is. A stop like that was right on point. Grant Williams is checked in for Boston. Jackson comes in for Jalen Brown. There's 45 seconds left in the first half. It's good. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Here's Butler, rejected by Brockton. Here's the closer, Deadman defending. The closer passes to Williams. Jackson, that's a two-pointer, and that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And it's Lowry with the ball, brings it up for the Heat. The basket counts, and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. No clue how he got that one to fall. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. That one misses for Martin. Here's the closer. Brogdon kicks to Williams. Trills the three-pointer. Williams has got himself on the board with three there. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. My goodness. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. A couple quarters are similar to the first. This one could go down to the last possession. You look at the closer in this game, guys. He's been everywhere. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. On the court right now for the Celtics. Again on the wing, he's joined by Brown. Tatum out there with the closer, and it's smart in at the one. on the clock and he's going up for the alley-oop and finished off by Martin a solid all-around player Jimmy Butler understands the importance of sharing the ball with open guys inside a shot by the closer no good no and, and that would have been a spectacular alley-oop really difficult to get the timing right on those long ones. outside smart Three-pointer, and good, coming on the assist by Brogdon. Brogdon's got his third assist on the night. And Brogdon traded over the summer to the Celtics. I'm interested to see how he'll fit with the rest of the Celtics guards. They certainly have a deep rotation now and a lot of flexibility. Lowry again, smart. Lowry dishes to Butler. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him 5 for 12 so far. We've seen Jimmy Butler develop his game each season. Now a threat to take over. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. 
for Boston. They have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. And some of what Smart gives this team doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but, but he makes plays that help you win. You know, Smitty, what's incredible about Miami's D, they don't need to block a ton of shots to protect the rim. Kevin, it's all about awareness, communication, and positioning. Whether they're in zone or man, they stay completely connected almost every possession. Timeout called the Heat. Well, after their offense stalled in the finals, the Celtics getting some veteran help. Gallinari and Brogdon both bring shooting, and Brogdon's another playmaker on the floor. Adebayo finds Butler. Good ball movement here by the Heat. They grab their own miss. Martin count it, and the foul. It goes on Jason Tatum. Effort play, pursuing the basketball. Love how he puts in the work. And uh, he's just had one attempt at the line early. And winning has become more consistent in Miami than ever. Jimmy Butler was acquired, made it all the way to the finals in his first year, and have steadily won games each season. Smart misses. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. And with the Heat, uh, GA, they've been a consistent force in the Eastern Conference. Kevin, lots of talent up and down that roster from stars like Butler and all the way down to the role players. This is just a solid team. Hero passes to Martin, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Now it's a five-point Heat lead. Some shooters get tunnel vision, but Tyler keeping his eyes up and his options open delivers a great pass. Round kicks to Smart. Here's Tatum. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Tatum's got five now. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. And Adebayo throws it down. Wonderful play. With that long wingspan and huge hands, Adebayo catches and finishes with ease. Back to Brogdon. Outside, Smart. Yes, and the foul. That's good. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. A different look for Miami. Robinson's checked in for Caleb Martin. Max Bruce comes in for Hero. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Kyle Lowry. Pritchard, he's checked in for the Celtics. Here's Autobio. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Here's Butler. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Butler's got the lead up to five now for the Heat. Pass to Brock. Out of bounds. Miami takes possession. Here's Vincent. To the middle. Here's Cruz. And he bangs it home with one hand. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, you'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. You have to switch on that play. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Miami. I think they've looked to dump it down low as often as possible. And so far, they've been super successful using this attack. And another stat that they've excelled at is points off assists. They're moving the ball around and creating great looks for one another. And if you let the little guy get airborne before you slide over to block him out, he can and will embarrass you on the boards. I mean, he's just making the D 
look foolish. I mean, that was one heck of a move to get himself the space he needed to operate. And how about the slam to finish it off? Not too shabby either. Here's Otobio. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. He's shooting five for eight. Nice work in there by Adebayo. He sets a physical tone for this team. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And a close game like this, you've got to dig deep and just find a way to make things happen. He's shooting free throws, number four in five here. And that one falls for Smart. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Miami. And the Celtics also making a change. Griffin's checked in. Well, Heat leading by three. Pass to Vincent. And here is Robinson. Here's Vincent. Down low. Picked away. Now here's Smart. Defended by Struess. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. As tough as they get, Smart's a bulldog out there. Does a good job of drawing contact, oftentimes by initiating it. And so, Smart nails both of them. And so it's Butler with it. He'll bring it up for the Heat. It's a one-point game. Robinson finds Butler, shoots over Griffin, and Griffin sends it back. I love the defensive intensity from Blake Griffin on that play. Seven-second difference, shot and game clock. Outside, smart. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Here's Butler. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The shot fake of Jimmy Butler is tough not to fall for. The Heat have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting six of seven. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. And the game brought to you by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. At the guard spots, Lowry and Hero. Max Bruce is out there with Jimmy Butler. And it's Deadman in at the five spot. That's the group on the floor for Miami. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got his third assist on the night. The toughness of Deadman showing up again, making the extra effort play finishes through contact. And so Boston again turning it over. Bam Adebayo is checked in for the Heat. Kayla Martin comes in for Max Drews. And then for Boston. Grant Williams comes in for Griffin. And it's Brown in for Tatum. And there's the pass to Butler. Again with the block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. He has big-time confidence. Tyler's a decisive shooter who doesn't hesitate when he gets a look. And it's Brogdon off the drive. And he banks in the layup. And how's that for a move? The killer crossover. It's a thing of beauty. Miami leading by six. Outside Lowry. Brogdon against Hero. Back to Lowry. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Pass to Brogdon. And Smart now atop the key. Martin with the block. And they get it back. A shot by the closer, no good. The Heat have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Martin the pass to Lowry. Butler against Brown. 
Adebayo with the ball. Clock at six. Hero, no good. Outside, Williams. And good coming on the assist by Brogdon. And the burst of quickness on display with the mobile one drive. The Heat with the lead. Outside Lowry. Again against Chiro. Back to Lowry. Trying to get open is out of bio. And Kyle Lowry with the three. And the Heat lead by seven. That's what you want to do. Work the ball to one of your premier scorers like Kyle Lowry and let him make a play. On the wing, Brown. Defended by Butler. Pulls it from 20. And that one is off. The Heat go the other way with it. Lowry finds Butler. And here's Martin. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Adebayo down low. Set it up with the fake, but it's offline. Celtics trail by seven. Here's Brown. Good work defensively by Martin. Now here's Adebayo. Not a lot of room. Shots good by Hero. We see it almost nightly. Hero is underrated in terms of his ability to score inside. Here's Brown. No good off the back of the rim. And it's Adebayo with the ball for the Heat. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Outside, Hero. Poked away. Stolen by Smart. And now with the fast break, Smart with the ball. That's it, and the Miami lead is cut time down time now out. to just seven on the bucket from Williams. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Timeout called the Heat. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game. Bam, Adebayo. And the D tried to get physical with him down low tonight, and it really backfired. Instead, he's just torn them up. He was aggressive, inviting the contact, and really just taking it straight to him. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. Right now, let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Eric Spolster address the team. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. All right, thank you, David. Celtics trailed by seven. Here's Brogdon. Unable to get that one. Great D that time from Hero. Lowry passes to Martin. Here's Adebayo. Lowry kicks to Buck. To the paint. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. Ferocious finish. Bam's natural strength is next level. Well, for the Celtics, this one not looking good. Tatum down low. Covered by Martin. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. And that one falls for Tatum. And you know, Jason Tatum is one of those guys who can really do it all. He's got a versatile skill set that makes him a constant threat on both ends of the floor. Here's Hero. The rebound by the Celtics. Every second counts now. They can't wait around. And I don't think they will. The problem is they've waited too long to make a move. Here's Tatum. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, nice job by Tatum inside. Very assertive. He's fantastic at putting the pressure on the D and consistently getting to the line. 
It's the first, and that brings them within five. So Tatum nails them both. Boy, did they need those free throws to go down. They're definitely within striking distance. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Yo, yo, yo. 41 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And a wide open look for Hero. That's in coming off an assist from Lowry. And the Heat lead by six. Tyler Hero steps up and delivers big time. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're down by six. 35 seconds left in the game. Guys, your thoughts? An uphill climb. They need everything to break their way. They also need to get the best shot you can as quickly as you can. And then immediately, five. The closer... And Adebayo sends a pick. And an intentional foul right there. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. You can easily understand on that play why many are excited by Tyler Hero. The kid's potential is impressive. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Tatum drives in. Over Martin. Rebound by the Heat. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they got to be happy with the outcome. And here's Lowry. And so it's Miami winning this one. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and play with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. 